Just a quick video to show you how to, to start your kettle corn popper out your 80 quart. Uh, make sure your valves open all the way right here on your tank. It don't matter what tank you have. Your high flow regulator valves open on all the way. I'll take you down to the burner then. Your right side is your pilot light. Your left side is your main burner valve. And here, make sure your airflow, uh, there's a dial here to correct airflow to your burner. Make sure that's approximately a quarter inch away from your cast iron piece. If not, the burner won't regulate, have a nice blue flame out of the deal. But you just crack your uh, pilot light open. And in here, I hope I can get, show you right. You light it. I gotta choke it down, but it's like a, a candle light down in there. Right there, I guess I can show you the best deal right there. And then when you want to light your main burner on, you, you crack your gas open. And then you can see your main burner light there. Now what I always do, I always raise up till you see like yellow flames with the blue. And then I back it down just a little bit so I don't see any yellow flames, the blue flames. And that seems to work the best for me for popping popcorn with these 80 quart kettle corn poppers. So. You can adjust it a little bit accordingly at the air intake and your dial on the on the burner. And then when you want to shut it off, you just shut off the main two, you shut your pilot light off and your main burner off, or leave the pilot on if you're popping a second or third or fourth batch, etc. etc. going on. Now on your auto stir, when you plug in your cord on your auto stir, there'll be a little blue light that comes on. And uh, when you're running it, sometimes goes to a red light when you're running the auto stir. But this will take 30 seconds or 40 seconds for that little blue light to come on once you plug it in. So don't get alarmed if it don't come on right away. So when you come over here on the auto stir, you have an on-off switch, which is your red button right there. And then you also have adjustment dial for speed control. And you can slow it down like you can see, or you can speed it up accordingly. I like to run mine approximately you know, two-thirds to three-fourths speed when I'm popping batches. But I uh, hope this information helps you uh, get started with your 80-quart popcorn popper. So, thank you very much.